Hey, what's this vicious whip? That's bitching. Is a whip? It vicious whip? No, it's just a whip. Well, yeah, a whip. I don't have a vicious whip. Oh. It says vicious whip. Shouldn't say vicious whip. That's awesome. Is that a demon thing? Oh. It's just a regular whip. Oh. Nice. Yeah. I got one too. We're be whipping. We should just like totally get into a fight and like whip people. <laughs> whip it good. Hey, you remember? Uh, you remember one of those? Uh, you know, vampire. I think it was under one of the underworlds. The guy has he swings a double whip, double bull whip, and it's like metal. Remember that? That would really be like badass. Huh? That would be like a vicious whip. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome to have. Two of those, just like he did in that movie. One of us can actually feel like that's what he was doing. He was doing the, the double, you know, and it's a finesse weapon. That would be, awesome. be cool. Huh? That would be cool. Yeah. That would really be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So the new Underworld movie's out, and it's on Voodoo. Oh, nice. I didn't know there was a new Underworld movie. Yeah. How many of those damn things are there? Four, I think. Yeah. Every time I seem to turn on uh, sci-fi, there's an Underworld on. Yeah. Hey, baby. And I gave, I gave Nancy the um, password and everything, so you have our Voodoo account. Oh, nice. Okay. So you've got all of the Underworld movies and all of those, too. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Seen a Great. Of Marvel movies and... All the Star Wars movies. The Marvel. <laughs> there's, a, Star Wars movies? there's a bunch. There's probably 40 movies on there. 50, Did well, you? no, easy. there's easily 75 movies on there. All of the Star Trek movies are on there. All the Star Wars movies are on there. All the Exorcist movies are on there. You know, I've never seen any of the new Star Trek movies with the with the you know the young the new crew. Uh -huh. you know? The new crew, and, and it looks actually really good. You know, because it's more realistic, right? It's more edgy, and they're not bad. They're not bad yeah, at I heard all. They're really, really good. Uh, I just never, I just haven't seen any for whatever reason. So there's your link, Brian. Go check it out. Where's that, buddy? Uh... Oh. Going home. Oh, black sand. <laughs> well, we don't have cannon. Just wait. Oh, Sorry. Oof. Let's be done. Badass. The rage is coming about. The Spaniards have got mad in the rigging. Oh, Mr. Dufresne. Everything you've got. Go Everything is mine. Cannon. 
God damn. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he knows. Oh, you see his smoke and fucking. <laughs> smoke and destruction after that. Ah. You notice how they're doing it too? They're doing sections. Uh huh. Holy crap. I can't wait till we get that big boat. <laughs> We're going to get one that flies, Nick. Yeah, Harry Potter ship. Yeah. Oh, and there's have all you, the Harry Potter have movies, too. Have you clicked on my, have you clicked on my, uh, my thing? Like, click on... Uh, Nancy said I can't click on your thing. <laughs> <laughs> click on uh, Captain's... Um, what do you call it? Character you know. ship? Yeah, character sheet, and then it's his the front, you know, the uh, bio, bio and info, <laughs> and it's that link down there to Lusitanic and Pandemonia, and that's that's what our ship's gonna be like. <laughs> this was an awesome movie. Yeah. <laughs> So even even the smaller one where uh, Hook saves them, yeah. that one too. I'll I'll go for that one as well. But uh, definitely that the big one is a, is a badass boat. Yeah, that was a really really bad move on those the part of those pirates there to uh, try to hit that Spanish man of war or whatever the hell that thing was. God. That's pretty fun, huh? That, this uh -huh. Uh, scene right here. I really enjoyed that movie. It was yeah. Good. yeah. It was good. There are very few musical or musical-ish movies I like. That was one of them. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> I'm not uh, crazy about the singing and all that kind of shit. It was fun. I think they kept it true. To the spirit of the of the story, you know. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, that was a uh, Joe. We were just talking. That was a really bad move on the on behalf of those uh, those pirates trying to hit that ship. <laughs> Why? Well, they had a good plan. Well, who was there a ship in front? Yeah, yeah they, they they had it in the middle, so they thought a crossfire would be good. There's two. That, that's what that's what I saw. There was three like ships involved. But it came so, about. It had that thing has fifty guns on a side. Right. So, yeah, fuck. that was awesome. Um, so was he doing the same damage to the other ship as well? You think? Did they didn't show that at all? I didn't know what was happening with the other boat. Um, they did some damage, but they only had. Uh, um, I think. The thing was that they tried to steal. They tried to get twelve cans total, and they only got ten. So there's only five on a ship. So. Yeah. And they tried to take on a Spanish galley man of war that had a hundred guns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they hit it. <laughs> that was the first mistake. 
Yeah, that was the that was a really bad move. Yeah, I'm gonna I want to see that show. That'd be fun. But they had a plan, and they didn't listen to the captain. Oh, okay. Wow. I don't know where Nance is. That's why you got to get a loyal crew. Yes. They fucked up. That's a huge fucking... Yeah. Okay. Because he gave the order and instead they went, Captain, we don't think you're ordering. They shot him. Oh, they shot him? Yeah. So he was already wounded. Oh, wow. So they mutinied right there. Yeah. 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 So yeah, you're getting ready to take on a fucking man of war and decide to fucking call for a mutiny right in the middle of it. That's yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Yeah, right. He went black. Did he go black on yours? Mm -mm. This is my turn. This is awesome. So I got my, my back doors wide open and the cats are going in and out. Nice fresh air. Oh, it's Hi, baby. Hey, guys. He's hey. Peeking. He's Nancy? Nancy. I can't see How's you. How's it going? I see your, I see your fan. See my forehead? It's a nice ceiling <laughs> fan you got. Yeah, I uh, I changed some stuff. If you look at um, both you and Brent, oh, I gotta give Nancy her. Hold on, let me put this down. What'd you change, Joe? I need to give you. I need to give you. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Do we have echoes? Do we have echoes? Yeah. What, babe? Echo. Echo. <laughs> Pitch, is it bad? Or Pedro? No, it's okay. 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 What are you changing, bud? Uh, I, it's not a whole lot. I mean, it's still the same. It's just a little bit. I I finagled around on her bio just so we're like, it'll... right. Was the equipment and all that shit okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okie doke. Okie dokie. On her bio? Yeah. I'm having the hardest time today keeping my brain together. Here we go. Maybe what did you change, Joe? <laughs> Maybe it's a Saturday today thing. Yeah. Let's hope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that whole bottom paragraph, Brian, I added on her uh, character backstory. What, where's that? What, oh, on the bio on the page? Bio page. <clears throat> so in between the towns of Thornhold? Yeah. You added to the bio? Yeah, added a paragraph on the bottom. Did you see what we added to hers as well? Yes. Okay. So I kind of okay. tweaked it just a little bit so it would fit, because trust me, you don't... Uh, yeah. Right. I, mean, I I don't want to sabotage what your <laughs> what your plan is, but after I read that I was going, ooh. That might be <laughs> you're just looking at you're looking out for Nance. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. Do you like where we said that she would like to eventually, you know, branch out to Van Bergen as well? Right. Because if you Later, you know, later you can pull up a, a, a map of the Sword Coast store, open your, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't remember which book that's in, but. Be a smaller you'll one. See, you'll kind of see where the area you guys are at on the map. Right. From the description, so. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> 
It's perfect, man. All right, so you guys got your ship. Um, it does need some. It needs some tender love and care. Not a whole lot. I mean, it's just, it's not like it's been battered and shit at the sea. Right. But it's been sitting, not, and it's not dry dock. It's been sitting wet dock for a few months. Right. So it needs to be uh, cleaned out from the bottom and. I mean, this guy was killing his own crew members. Yes. In addition, you know, he was he was pretty fucking whacked out there. Yeah. I mean, this whole thing. I mean, just from talking from Boston and Price, you, uh, the whole venture was because she used to be, she used to be part of the uh, five captains league, and she did a bunch of war stuff for them, and then she retired. Right. And then uh, Jarson found her down in Waterdeep and hired her on. Because uh, she was kind of bored at that point. Right. So she said, yeah, sure, I'll do this for a little bit until you can drop me off at another port that I find interesting. And then he went into this whole tailspin with the sorceress, got involved with her, um, essentially fell in love with her and would do anything for her. And from then on, it, it's, it's the entire ship and everything started going downhill. They did rights just enough to uh, get enough equipment to get back to that little hideout. Mm -hmm. And then he started doing his uh, rituals. Right. Um, he really lost his mind. Yeah. So once they started seeing that happening, um, as they... As they were going back and forth from the sorceress's island to this hideout, um, yeah, to give her more soul gems is when uh, this whole betrayal happened. Um, Bosun was going to leave, kind of like you did, right? And <clears throat> Jarzin told the sorceress that nobody deserts. You volunteer and it's for life. Desertion is a death penalty. Right. The sorcerer said how much would be the bounty on that. And uh, Jarz gave her a price. She paid it. Told Bosun, when you work for me, your first order of business is to kill the captain. And he did. He walked over, grabbed him by the neck, and snapped it. And happily did it. And happily did it. <laughs> yeah. And of course, that didn't work. I mean, yeah, it worked. Work. The next day, he, you know, he came, he came back because sorcerers jacked with him on the on the soul gems. Promised him the world. Said that, uh, you know, I brought you back to life because of our love. Blah blah blah. And he fell for it in a way, but as he was trying to leave, he. Essentially, uh, was getting ready to be stripped of his captainhood and become a slave of the sorceress, and that's when he All decided right. to escape, go down the tunnels. He kidnapped you guys, he kidnapped a bunch of other prisoners, and then hauled ass from the island. And it's been, it's been, and then since then, that's where you guys woke up in the prison and all that bullshit. So, right. <clears throat> wow. So you, you basically learn all this from Bosun and Price from and, and as, you know some of the, the course of the week as you guys are traveling back to Ben Bergen. Awesome. And so the first order of business when you guys got back to Ben Bergen was to re-equip yourselves because I mean you had you had some uh, scraps that you, know, you got from escaping from the prison that mainly right. probably either going to stay on board or go to the crew. Um, right. Red Bertram said that he's going to uh, continue on to Waterdeep. The whole situation was is that they were going to drop you guys off at Bad, Ber Bad Bergen so you can essentially get what you need from here because you had supplies and stuff back here. Um, right. Finish up whatever business you had in Bad Bergen while they take Red down to drop him off in Waterdeep and then they come back to get you. Okay. And then Red said in about three months, give it about three months' time, and go ahead and request, send a raven and request a meeting with the uh, 
the council of the five captains. So you can go through your trial and uh, dump the bounty. And he said, by about three months time, you should have uh, enough influence in with the magistrates to get your bounty cleared, number one. And number two, get you on the, uh, basically the list to become the fifth captain. Right. Because the fifth captain right now is currently not not a good earner. So. Oh, okay. Sweet. Uh, during this time, you guys noticed that uh, Frapp is not herself. <laughs> uh oh. Not at all. <laughs> that could be a really bad thing. <laughs> not doing good. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm not sleeping well. I'm just, you know, being in prison didn't do well with me. I'm having bad <laughs> dreams and shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Sleeping good. What are your dreams about? So it's just, just a lot of, a lot of running and, 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 you know, torches and just nightmares and just, 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 just bad shit. Are you by yourself in these dreams? I don't know. I really don't know. But I, I wake up and, and I'm just sweaty and I'm more tired than when I went to sleep and I'm just, it's bad. Wow. I'm sick. I don't know. I'm just sick. Hmm. You need to be healed? I don't think so, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's from something in the prison. I don't know if the acolytes did something. I don't know what it is. Maybe when we get back to Van Bergen everything will be better. There you go. Well, as soon as I can I'll do a healing a summer balm or something. Well you can anytime, baby. Well then I'll start off with that because we had a big run. Right? Does that do anything, Joe? So gonna... She definitely feels better, yes. What about... Because um... it seems like to you, Nance, like she has a fever. Uh, she's got cold sweats. Every time you see her, she's constantly perspiring, dehydrated. She's got a little bit of a fever going on. Not necessarily. I mean, you know the difference between flu and stuff, and... Um, mm -hmm. healing, your healing bomb would naturally get rid of that most of the time. Mm -hmm. But in this instance, it's, it seems to relieve her of her immediate um, ailments and pain, but it just it, it, it perpetuates and just keeps going on. Can I do an insight or a perception check on her? Yeah. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, your your insight with uh, twenty two is uh, there's something deeper going on. This is not like a sickness and ailment, um, a bacteria. This is something that's going on with internally with her and her soul. The and soul level. And her being a tiefling means it's it going to be some dark shit. Okay. So, did I do the um, investigation or perception? You did insight. Oh, I did insight? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do this one. I'm really nosy. <laughs> She's lifting the tail. <laughs> right. I'm like touching you all over. <laughs> <laughs> Checking for the uh, old turds that still got attached and they come off in the litter box. Yeah, it's uh, still on. It is, this is something that um, 
just between the inside and the perception, you can tell this, this is definitely something that is between her class, her race, and what path she's choosing as becoming a, uh, a huntress. Make a, history, okay. make a history check real quick. Okay. Yeah, so with that, you can tell this is a, uh, there, there are certain, whoa, what the fuck was that? What was that? I think Nick has some uh, feedback. Good grief. I think a UFO just flew over. <laughs> Somebody's getting ready to lift off. <laughs> so you know that there are certain small groups of people out there. Wow. Somebody's feeding back really bad. It's weird, too, because I'm getting tingles all up on my uh, my calves. And that means something. <laughs> all right. Turn All right. I turned my down a little as well. Maybe that's me. I don't know. This is where we all get busted. Like all of our other little devices and shit is on. We have to start like turning everything off. Okay. Yep. It's still there? No. <laughs> no. No, hang on. Okay. Somebody's not going to. No, that was me. What are you doing that? I'm trying to see where the echo's coming from. I don't hear it anymore. I don't, I don't hear it anymore. <laughs> you better watch it. <laughs> you better watch it there, Mr. Fucking GM. <laughs> I just put a Merkaba light all around everybody. <laughs> We're good. Right. And sheesh, I was just listening to Apple Bottom Jeans. That was all. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, that was, uh, you know that she is uh, she's kind of going through the the shakes or the re or the um, the passage through a ritual that's part of a blood hunter. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's just, uh, so she needs blood. It, it's not like a. It's not like a. She's craving blood, but it's a. Uh, it's not a craving. It's like a hunger for her to get blood. It is more of a craving for blood for knowledge to help her hunt, to help her destroy things that are possibly evil. Um, that are, Does she gain knowledge through like if she destroys something? Like, does she gain knowledge through it, or does she gain knowledge through from being around it, like just by osmosis? Well, I, she can kind of explain what the, what the blood means to her of why she needs blood from certain things and how that'll help. But just from your, your history check, you, you know that it's not a hunger that blood hunters crave. It's the blood of um, beasts, undead, um, evil fae, and fiends, demons, and stuff so that she can... Uh, Yes, she she can either imbibe or ingest their blood to help her with the hunt. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. So it fortifies her. Yes. But at the same time, sometimes she has to sacrifice some of herself to make that happen. So. Huh. 
So that's that's what's been going on during this trip, and you're kind of you know doing the cloth, uh, cloth crap. washcloth on the floor. Uh -huh. <laughs> How's your strength? It, it's it, your strength? it's fine. I just I just I just don't. She's been sneezing I've, blood. It's horrible. I I've, <laughs> yeah, damn. I just feel like I I haven't slept. I, I don't know if it's because we're on the ship or if I just need off of the ship. I don't, I feel like I've been caged and I can't get out of here. And I, I don't know. I just, I can't explain it. It's just like, I just, I need to, I, I need, I need to get out of here. I need to, to get off the ship. I need to do something. I need to. No. <laughs> what? What's going on? Okay. I mean, I, I just I feel like everything's. I mean, I'm being watched. Everything's just all eyes are on me, and it, but at the same time, I feel like I'm watching everything, and I can't see close enough what's happening to me, and it's you know like. I, I, it's like a, a crystal ball, but the, it's not clear enough. It is, it is, and it's it's like it's in control of me, and I'm not in control of it. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell happened? <laughs> No, I don't think so. I, I, <laughs> right. All right. All right. I had to reconnect. You disappeared, Brian. She was like talking to you, and you're like black. You're black. Oh no, I, I, I've heard her. Okay, the go whole ahead. time. Yeah. Is that what you meant, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'd yeah, seen yeah. that up there and just didn't pay attention to all the parentheses. Parenthesis. So yeah, that's basically what's happening with her, and you're like, "Oh, baby, it'll be okay." It's kind of like somebody going through a, sh you know, a whole it's hormonal TT's thing. You know? <laughs> All right, so we comfort Frap, and then we figure out what we got to do. Yeah, and kind of Joe and I were talking about this. It's um, this is kind of something as opposed to like on a lot of the the races and stuff that you get to pick. It picked me. Right. Right. So I'm having a hard time. I'm not sure. I know what it is, but I'm not real sure at the same time. Yeah, you've never been through it before. So. Yeah. Yeah. So the first order of business when you guys cruise into the dock, um, you dock up, you get in your little rowboats and row into shore. Um, you're not unloading or having loading. That's what the docks are for. for the it's the only time you dock your ship is if you're going to load or unload your cargo. So. Right. So you guys get to Van Bergen to do some shopping. Um, during this time, Rappy feel he's starting to feel a lot better. Um, it seems like getting closer to here, getting closer to Van Bergen seems to not necessarily enlighten you, but it, it peps you up to where you're feeling normal so yeah the hills are alive with the sounds of <laughs> blood. um with the sounds of blood oozing yes blood oozing. <laughs> what's that song i can hear your heartbeat oh wow that's the partridge family never mind hey, nancy. <laughs> nancy did you read the uh, adventure introduction it should be in your handouts I haven't read it yet. Under your little uh, paper article. I see it. I'm reading it real quick. Okay. Always... <laughs> like, there's always so much stuff. I spent 77 gold, Brian. That's it? <laughs> That's it. Well, and then the silvering, but. God, yeah, that's gonna be like a hundred gold. 
when we yeah. silver stuff. Yep. Yeah, the silvering is. Yeah. It's pretty. Uh, pretty pricey. So yeah. seventy from the from the eighteen hundred. Yeah. It's a hundred for your weapons, and then you can do your arrows. I think for ten, for twenty, or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember what it was because I. Yeah. Because I kind of want to be up close and personal when I use it. Yeah. I don't want to silver my arrows. Okay. But I might want to silver my manacles. <laughs> yeah, because if you silver your arrows and then you break an arrow, you're like, God, fuck. Damn it. Right. <laughs> like, Jesus. And I'm apparently a lousy freaking shot. <laughs> Jax was an awesome shot. Frap is not. Yeah. Okay, I'm all caught up. <laughs> Damn it to L. So Isn't yeah. that kind of sucky there? <laughs> your brother, though. It's your brother. Right. Kind of like a holy shit factor. Wow. Anyway, we don't know this yet. This hasn't happened, right? Right. Okay. It, it kind of has. I mean, that's where we're going to pick up at as you guys did your shopping. Um, the Duke hired you to look into lichen sighting in the forest just outside the city. You guys tracked it. Um, you, you lost the track at the uh, at the lighthouse, near the lighthouse. Um, okay. Before you went in and started destroying shit, you, it was like, eh, maybe we should get some a little permission here. Okay. So the Duke told you that, you went back to your hotel, to the okay. room, and that's when uh, that's where you saw that in the room. So what you going to do? Oh, okay. So, well, before we do that, what do we need to do to the stuff that we silver? Well, it's just silver. It doesn't do more damage or anything. Yeah. Just, just, just write it on your, you know, include it on your, like, say if you have battle axe. So okay. Yeah, so you can open, click on your little eye tip in your in your equipment, and you can just put silvered under that. Okay. Okay, baby. So like your dagger, if you wanted to do that. Okay. You click on the little. You roll your mouse over it. Not the damage. Not the attack side, but the one below it. Right, Joe. Equipment. Yes. Yes. The plus. Oh no. wait, there's, I see. What you're there's, a little, there's a little ball. Okay. You, so you hit when you go to dagger. Click hit it and what? So you click on that so it opens it up where it says equipped and use as resource. <laughs> you probably don't even have to do that. But anyways, just click after dagger and say silver. Oh. See if that's what you want to do or your scimitar, whatever it is that you want to silver. Oh, I see it. And then mark off your gold. Yeah. Right. I'm right guys, uh, this is coming out of the, This is coming out of the out of the loot, Joe. So what's it gonna be to silver the manacles, Joe? Because that'll be, wouldn't that be different than like silvering the short sword? Yes. Mm. It's basically you're putting a silver coat on it. So you're not right. doing it. So it's going to be a silver coat and it's going to be, it's going to be about the same as you would if you were to do it to a piece of ammunition. So it's going to be 10 gold for the manacles themselves. Okay, Brian. So my silver is 110 total. 110? Yeah. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm sorry. Um, do we click use as a resource? No. Okay. No, that's that's for like, uh, yeah, not longbow. You're not going to silver that. You do okay. like either your scimitar or your dagger. That's really what you're looking. Oh, for. you can only do one thing. Right. You can do, you can do, you know, both. But I mean, I think your scimitar may be a little more. You know. It's a hundred yeah, gold piece each. Yeah, it's a hundred yeah. gold. Are we going after weapon. a werewolf or what? Yes. Yeah. You know that yeah. you've been kind of why we're silvering, but mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> what did we wind up doing with all of the the short swords, daggers, and everything else? It's on the ship. Okay, so I mean, we've got but we've got it all accounted for still. Oh yeah, it's on the Okay. Yeah. All right, and so just write Okay, so I I did my um. I just did my dagger. Then what else did you say I should do? Well, either, either your scimitar, or your dagger, or I think you should do your scimitar, okay. your dagger, your quarter staff. Um, <laughs> All right, Joe. Baby. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> so, baby, you're just silvering what, right. what you fight with. All right, your 
with stabs, you know, it's metal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I'm, I'm not doing everything that I have, just some things, I'm, some, you know, silver. Okay. Okay. So what did you do? So you're not, you didn't mark it. I did my dagger. Okay, where'd you say that you marked it? I marked it on my sheet. Oh, mod silver. Uh huh. Okay, I'm also. Is Joe? Is that where you do it? On your mods? On your mods? No. no. If you just, I just, I just did it right there, babe. See right there. Now look at your dagger. Okay. Just, look at my dagger. <laughs> oh, I see it. Okay. And I did your scimitar. <laughs> you use your scimitar. Okay. 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 And if you make an investigation okay. roll, you might even be able to find some type of salon in the marketplace that would be able to silver your nails. You can do a mani pedi with silver. It'd be kind of cool. You know? Each nail. Each nail is only like ten gold, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Each claw. <laughs> Like, you know, we saw Trolls last night, the, the little uh, CGI. Did you like it? Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's when she, so when she goes, oh, oh, you don't want to do that, girlfriend. She goes. <laughs> 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 so cute. I just loved it. What was the other one we just watched, babe? Oh, Sing. Oh, Sing, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It might be cuter than Sing. Yeah, these movies, you know, they're just, they are, all the all this CGI stuff to me seems like they they actually tell stories better than they do in regular movies anymore. Because <laughs> they 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 hit on a lot of different points in, in the, within throughout the movie, and it's pretty cool the way they do them. Yeah. What was someone with the head-banging poodle we got you, Joe? Oh, uh, we did, he Secret has, Life of oh, Pet? Yeah. Oh, that That's on video. Yeah, I love that one. That one's great. Yeah. Cute. Okay. So, honey, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. not honey, Nemo, or I guess Captain's like, uh, honey, <laughs> maybe we don't have to do the dagger because <laughs> it's not you're gonna, you're not going to use it that often. Um, we got to save a little bit of money. Got to come down a little bit on the prices. Are you mansplaining to me right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a captain, baby. <laughs> He's an asshole. <laughs> no, no. And it come a little bit down She's on the off. price. <laughs> yeah, she's off. Back off, mister. <laughs> okay. All right. You're saying. Besides, I have absolutely no concept of numbers, so. Okay. So let's just do the scimitar. It's bigger. <laughs> yeah. or, or like the true value Are you of money. fixing this for me? Yeah, Captain. that's true value. <laughs> but isn't it funny how she's actually done more with her money? <laughs> right, right. And all she's trying to do is just like, you know, do the right thing and, you know, yeah. be making money. And at the same time, you're, you're, you're up in your socks. Yeah. Yeah, come on, honey. So I'm so glad that we have loot on the boat. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, that's that's where you come in at. Um, I'm I'm guessing you guys are all together. Um, you don't necessarily have to be, but uh, definitely Brad discovers that her door is open and finds her bloodied and beaten, naked brother in the bathtub. Wow. Okay. Oh, I already forgot his name. Hang on. <laughs> so the, the We're not was, close. The door was uh, ajar, correct? It's, it's a Bilbo yes. or something. Bilby? Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo. There's something with an F. Bilbo. Frivol or Bilbo. something. Free. Frivolous bastard. <laughs> so apparently... Uh, Fridolf. Fridolf is short for something. Fridolf. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, well, I'm, I'm obviously going to do an investigation check when I come up to my room, because I'm like, what the fuck? 
Okay, so are we all together? We're all like walking up together and we're kind of dropping you at your room and then this happens? Yeah, because the door's left ajar, so we should stay together right. for a second. Well, no matter what, I mean, if you guys aren't with me, I'm going to grab you. If you're with me, we're going to. Right. Okay, well, let's just, we're all walking up together and your door's ajar and you investigation check. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're walking in there. As we're walking in there like that, uh, Captain's going to whip out one of his peacemakers. He's all, now he thinks he's the shit with the gun. He's all. <laughs> All right. Is he moaning or anything, Joe? Or is he like totally out? He's breathing. That's about all. And deep, deep breathing. But he is not rising from sternum rubs or uh, he's deep. He's so out. at this point, we just hear this raspy. Yes. Yeah, so it's just like, you know. So we're like going to go in full metal jacket on his ass at this point. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh uh, shit, it's Friddle. Who the fuck Holy is Friddle? He's my brother. <laughs> Holy crap, it's the one Father Lost. Oh my god, is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> crap. What's he doing here? I have no idea. I never I thought just, he'd yeah. come to this plane. He was okay. gonna he was gonna take over. They did yeah, yeah. Father likes him. Oh hell. Hell uh -oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Ooh, oh, oh. Let, let's. Oh. Well, let's get him to the bed. Okay. Let's 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 see if we can. Oh. Oh no. This is no. Oh no no. Oh. Can I get out my healer's kit? Yeah, we've we've got to do something. What, yeah. Let's see what we can do. We've got to we've got to do something. We can do a healing okay. uh, touch, babe, or. Uh... Probably. I can find it. We can do a, do a uh, medicine check on him, Joe. What is yeah. exactly yeah, my like blood is kit? <laughs> Fuck, man. It sounds like I this need This is why you don't treat your siblings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. so for yeah. Her, her idea of medicine. <laughs> 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 Damn it! It's harder. So healing word. Oh. Okay. Cap, do you have your dagger? Stab him in the tail. See if that helps. <laughs> well, now hold on. Let's let's see what uh, Nemo can do. My stuff isn't working. Your. They can click kit? on it and. Can you do a can you do a uh, healing hand or healing touch? I've tried to click healing word. I don't know, my thing's just not working. Hold on, let me close it and reopen it. Oh, what did Brian do? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cast at what level? There was an input value that wasn't showing oh. on my front screen. Okay. And now my whole thing's all jacked up. Oh. <laughs> Hey, okay. it's coming back. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, there it is. So, Eric texted me and he said he just got home. He's going to shower and maybe he'll log on. What? Oh. If not, then uh, yeah. have fun, guys. Love you. you know, type thing. Who? Eric. Uh, okay, okay, he had a unicorn frappuccino. Oh. <laughs> okay, you notice Nance as you cast him, um, it, it, his body definitely tenses from it. Um, you see some wounds, the outer wounds on him, because he's been essentially the, the injuries that are on him are all from like slashing and bludgeoning damage. That's on him from bruising. Um, right. Trail. That investigation check, Nick. <coughs> Sorry. Jesus. H. You saw that there was essentially a blood trail from on the doorknob um, across the floor in the bathroom. In the bathroom. So there's no, there was no signs of like this door was kicked in or anything. It was, it was uh oh. Like, 
I can't hear you, Joe. Not at all. Am I well, muted? I can hear you through the door. I'm not muted. I'm not muted. <laughs> I was <laughs> muted. <laughs> I can hear you guys. Okay. okay. So, do we know about the werewolf yet or no? You know about a werewolf that the Cap and Frap were hunting. Um, right. The Duke, the Duke hired Frap to hunt down a lichen. She discovered the trail and that there were signs of a lichen out the forest outside of the city. Went back and got Captain while you guys were finishing up on the boat. And right. And they tracked it to the lighthouse and then um, got, instruct, or got permission to go into the lighthouse from the Duke. Um, and then Captain Frapp hooked up with you guys and said, this is, this is where it's at. We're, you know, we've apparently been hired to kill this lichen real quick before we head off to Silverlight to get a hold of various all that stuff. So he may have been attacked by a lichen. Well, he's not clawed. He's just bludgeoned. It's like he's hit with clubs. I thought he was slashed. Yeah. There is oh. slashing damage on him, but it appears to be from a sword, is what Frapp is looking at. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So does her healing... maybe he's the werewolf? Yeah. Does her healing? Uh, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh, actually, let me. Okay, Joe, let's do an investigation check. When I taste it, it's blood. <laughs> <laughs> so it is blood. So it tastes okay. like carrots, huh? <laughs> <It's blood. laughs> tastes like carrots. Great. Wow. Wow. So what was he doing? How many points did he get back from from her healing touch? You're not sure. He doesn't awaken. You just see that there, the wounds and the and the bruising is is healed up on him, not completely, but is healing up on him. Okay, uh, Orbat's gonna be playing a healing song, in at the in the background throughout this. Okay. okay. You should make him sing like Gamlin has to sing, make up the songs. <laughs> I tried that. That was so funny. I said, okay, so I'm like only on episode 23 of Critical Role, and Scanlon's like saying, I have the tiger to grog. <laughs> That's what I told Brian, man. If you're going to play bard, you got to grab them fucking instruments off the wall and do a, a tune or a strum or a power chord or something. <laughs> <laughs> little ditty. It's a little ditty. I wrote. <laughs> it's, about it's, about healing, it's about healing a demon and whatnot. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a failed investigation check around the rest of the room to see what I can figure out other than it's my room. Because I'm I'm not good at this today. I'm I'm emotional. So it's my room. It is your room. <laughs> okay. You know, you know for sure that you're in the right room. Okay. So that's God. good. Good. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, can I do an investigation too? Um, make <laughs> yes. yes. Captain, I mean, make what? Investigation. investigation. Okay. All right. Brian's black and quiet. Let me re re redo something. Reconnect. Black and quiet. Jesus. It's uh, Brian, you, you realize that this is a uh, frap room as well. Okay. Well, we're in the room. We're in the right room, frap. This is your brother. Rudolph. And I know that because you told me so. <laughs> you told me this is your brother, and I believe you. And that's good. That's good. You guys. Now Horbath's gonna look around. Let me do an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. I did one too. Oh, I rolled twenty-one. All right, Nancy. <laughs> Nimi rolls a one. She gets yeah, a three. A natural <laughs> one. Okay. 
Ooh. We both got 21, man. So you, that help? you guys, you guys all kind of, you know, yeah. notice this uh, brass short dwarf go get, get, moves you guys aside. Go, Let me look at this here. I, I have a little bit more experience. The between the healing word and the song that you are doing is yes, it is healing up the wounds on him, but he was yes, effed up, fucked up, right. bad. Um, so they are healing. Um, and as it's healing, you notice with that investigation check that a lot of the blood that's on him, yeah, doesn't appear to be his. Oh, okay, I'll let them know that. His blood, it's not his. Well, that's good. He beat the hell out of somebody, something. He got into a bit of a struggle. I'm no doctor, but he's fucked up. I don't know what he's here for. I can't imagine why he'd be here. He's never left father's side. Hmm. I hope your father's okay. Uh. And if father wasn't, he certainly wouldn't be here because he takes over the kingdom. Hmm. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I mean, father, father set up quite the, the little dynasty on his plane. T wow. Typically, tiefling children stay with their human or elven parents. We didn't. As soon as we were born, he came and took us. Hmm. He set up a dynasty. There weren't going to be any other demons that took power from him. So, yeah, Frivold was going to stay there. Father yeah. trained him. What is he wearing? Nothing. He's naked. Oh, he's naked. He's wearing his birthday suit. Now is he feral? Is he winged? Is he what kind of a what kind of a tiefling is my brother? Well, your tiefling brother is doesn't have as much red skin as you. He's not. Is he more as, coppery? Yes, he is more. He's more coppery. Coppery. Because you have more of a reddish, darker, you know, um, olive tint to you, as to where he is a very lighter. Uh, copperish orange, you know, copper tone tan. <laughs> yeah. Type looking. And his horns are very short. Kind of like dad's. They're like right here. Uh -huh. Right in the front of his head. Hmm. Um, his, uh, his tail is a little bit thinner than yours. It's not as thick. So he has finer features. Um, yes, he has very finer features. He's, he's not as... Uh, I mean, as far as like buffness goes and stuff, perhaps more buffer than this guy. So uh -huh. he's, he's not not. He's administrative. Where, yeah. He's more, he's more, he's more, <laughs> more administrative with more, you know, angular features. Right. Kind of like more like his dad, Asmodeus. So, well, not his direct dad, but his. You know. Yeah. Back. I think his mom might have been an elf. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> so what do we do about this? Do we wait him out? I I don't know what else we can do at this point. All right. At about this point, guys, you hear a knocking at the front door. At the open front door. Okay. I'm going to take my jacket off and kind of throw it over him. Okay. Right. Yeah, we go towards the door. Okay. Uh, there oh, you stand, you see leaning kind of against the door jam is this uh, uh, over six foot tall bald wearing uh, a singular black robe <clears throat> has a book in his hand um, it's not it's very high up collar to his uh, neck um, you can see kind of a spider web pattern from his neck going down. 
Yes. And it kind of ends up near the top of his sternum of this uh, design. It's kind of it, this is basically a spider web. The robe is black. Hmm. And he is bald and he's standing there. And behind him, and standing in the hallway, are two extremely heavily armored subjects. A, I mean, just, just noticing them and you guys being in Van Bergen, they are City Watch behind him. City Watch. Yeah. Okay. So... As you walk out, he just he has his arms kind of folded, and he goes, "Hello." <laughs> he goes, yeah, I'm Evo. just putting his gun back in his his holster. He's like, "Hello," and you can notice that as he's as he's saying hello and he's talking to you, he is uh, looking at the floor with the blood. He's looking at the doorknob with the blood. He's looking at the trail of blood, going to the bathroom where you guys were all gathered at. Um. <laughs> And he's kind of scratching his head, and he's uh, introduces himself as Evo. He goes, "I'm with the City Watch. I'm an investigator with the City Watch, and I would like uh, all of you, if you could, to step out in the hall. I'd like a moment of your time." Okay, so I'm just kind of quietly start heading towards the hall. And he's very proper. He's very, he's not, uh, you know, being a dick or nothing. He's just, as you start walking towards the door, you know, he, he unfolds his arms and, you know, kind of does the hand extended thing. Thank you very much. He's very appreciative. Uh-huh. Well, in case you haven't heard, there's a uh, beast on the loose in the city. From my understanding, the Duke has hired you to take care of the beast. Unfortunately, there was a killing last night. And earlier right. today, <clears throat> there was a disturbance at the casino before you arrived back here and I'm following up on the lead and I'm here at an open door with blood and well, you all in here so Evo uh, yeah as you know we are after the, the, the beast of course and and any information you have any information you have as far as the leads go can you share them you know, help us find it as well. Absolutely. Like I said, if you all could step out of uh, the room for just a moment, I'd like to look around and see for myself what uh, what is happening here. Yeah. I think we should see what what plays out. Well, we just got here too. Very good. Very good, madam. He kind of raises, raises an eyebrow and again motions out the door. Please. Yeah. That's why I'm here. He goes, you, since this is your room, can remain in here because I need to talk to you. But for the rest of your party, they can step outside and we can clear this up. All right. We'll be right outside, Brad. Are you comfortable with that, Frap? <clears throat> okay. 
All right, so as he comes in, he is uh, his eyes start just like darting around the room. He's looking at the blood. He's looking at the bed. He's look, he's looking all over the place. Um, he puts his hands behind his back and casually walks through. Every now and then, he kneels down, looks at blood, stands up, ends up going into the bathroom. Um, Why not? (laughs) Which he basically comes out of. Um, He's in there for several minutes. And opens the door. Walks out with the coat kind of over one finger. Kind of motions it like he's handing it to you. Yours, I presume. You said you covered the body. What? You took who out of the bathroom? That's not what you told me. You said you covered him with your coat. Nope. <laughs> never heard that so yeah all I heard was you guys covered him up when evil knocked on the door and you guys were all gathered around that was last I heard so With your coat, yes, and hands it. And presume, presumably, says it's yours. Okay. He goes. So he produces a scroll real quick from his coat and hands it to you. Yeah, not from your coat, from his his, uh, his robes. He kind of hands it to you. You look at it. And has it, it's almost like the order, <laughs> the contract that you and the duke had it's got the duke's seal on it and it looks very familiar to the duke's seal that the contract that you had to kill the lichen so so he hands that to you Uh, he essentially asks who the tiefling is How long has he been there? He goes, Do you have any idea how he got his interest? Well, he's alive. That's obvious. And apparently magic healing doesn't appear to be working on him as I would suspect it would Um, do you have any idea how long he'll be staying He kind of tells you that, uh, well, Van Bergen's kind of a dangerous town as of late, in case you haven't noticed. It's a dangerous town what? In case she hasn't noticed. Oh, I thought he said. And the Duke has taken measures, obviously, by hiring you. Um, There's been quite a few disappearances and missing deaths, so I'm here to inquire to see if this has any merit to that investigation. Um, He goes, if you'd like, would you like to help me carry him to your bed so you may be more comfortable as opposed to laying in the bathroom? I'm more bathroom the 
from the uh, hallway. They'll be like, we'll take care of him. And likewise, it would be great to know as soon as he wakes up because I need to ask him some questions. If you could so advise me, that, is walking in past you guys. That'd be fantastic. He kind of walks through you guys to, to get to the <laughs> I got him. And with the same kind of shitty grin, he kind of goes, I'm just here to help and make sure that you succeed in your contract is all. All I can tell you is that it's under investigation. Well, I'm not sure if the actions from last night have to do with your contract to kill a lichen yet so that is correct but at the same token i have families to answer to and the duke to answer to you have your contract i have my duties i'm the feds you're the locals <laughs> Good evening. Um, as he's as he leaves and he walks away, <clears throat> he, he whispers into the um, two guys that are standing outside, and they nod, look at your door, take about five steps down, and then space themselves about ten feet apart, lean up against the wall, and just stand there and watch. Yep. Great. Yep. Well. Thank you, Evo. We'll be in touch. Good day to you. You as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're best all walking over there, grabbing the <laughs> teethly, washing them up a little bit. <laughs> This was your quick asking around town and such of who Evo was. That's pretty much who he is. Okay. Hey, that's uh, Lex Luthor. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I love that guy. Oh, so for some reason, I'm on a Jeff Bridges NPC kick. So I he's he's great. Yeah, I, I, I it's perfect. <laughs> He just seems to, you know, when I'm looking around for shit, he just seems to tie into the perfect fucking roles all the time. Yeah. No, he, he's great, man. Great face. <laughs> okay. So that is that. All right. So they, they got their eye on us for sure. Maybe uh, if we go out, uh, we should leave one back here with, uh, with, uh, Fildor. Phil. Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph. Somebody back here at Rudolph. Uh, with Freddy. Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> That's the county's like, we should leave someone back here at Rudolph. Maybe, uh, maybe Horvath. Uh, <laughs> That's you, Mike. What? You're the one. I got, I just unmuted you. I got echo now. I got echo now. I, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's Nick. I always see her, her blue the light, or the uh, sound wave, whatever. It always does that when that sound comes around. Well, I've got the echo from the from Joe in the other room too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, exactly. Echo, echo. That's better. So I wish uh, they would they would have told us, you know, like maybe we can get a lead or some. Yeah. Well, you do have some clues in your uh, in the adventure handout. Where you need to go. Right. I gotta pee. Yeah. But I think when Freddie wakes up, we're gonna tell him Angel did this. Evo did this to him. <laughs> Evo. So I'm wondering, Cap, did we met with Ludwig van Klost? Uh -huh. Did you by chance get the name of Luella's secret lover? Luella's secret lover. Hmm. I'm not ready. Really, I don't remember if we got his name. Mm. I don't think we did. Mm. We need to follow up on that. Yep. Let's go there. Let's go back and talk with him. Yeah. I mean, I know we, we found out that that's not, she hadn't met up with him, but... Well, the both of them are are gone. We need to find out who the other missing dead person is, too. Are her friends? <clears throat> Speak to her friends? Yeah. Check out the cliffs. Definitely go check out. These, uh, these guards outside the door will keep an eye on uh, Friedolf. Why not? Let them deal with him when he wakes up. Right? He always quiet the I mean, are, you, are you okay with that since uh, he's your brother? Oh, yeah. If your brother wakes up, will he? can he harm these guards? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What I would, what I would want to happen. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's not are. likely to, but he can, he can take care of himself. Yes. Okay. All right. So. And I, I, I just, I can't imagine why he's here. I mm. can't. That's. It's just so odd that he's well, here. Does, does your. Uh, does the transition you're going through have something to do with our calling? Do they, do you guys know how to come to each other kind of thing? It's curiosity. Where would, but. Yeah, everybody can hear you. What? <laughs> That would be why my screen's blue all the time when he talks. You see dead people sometimes? Oh, all right, so. so is that a thing where if your hunter, uh, your blood hunter, they kick it in? Uh, it's not necessarily something that calls to family. It's not a genetic thing. It's... I mean, it, it can be passed in families, but it's not commonly passed in families. I mean, if you're going through it, was it something that will bring him to you? It shouldn't. I mean, if it were to bring any of my, any of the brothers to me, it, it certainly wouldn't be Fridolf. Mm -hmm. He and I certainly weren't the closest. Right. So... Right now, the time is about mid-afternoon. It's about 3, 3, 4 o'clock. Okay. So we have a question for you, Joe. Yep. 
Do we know the name of the secret lover, Luella's secret lover? Um, no, but you can probably find that out from her father. We just want to make sure we didn't know it, though. Yeah. Okay. Or her friends. We can go right. visit or these friends. Okay. <laughs> well, I wonder if it's Fred off. Uh, yeah, I kind of wonder that. that be, uh, you know. So we're going to go over there. Go over where? To see the father, okay. Ludwig van Klaus. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let the guards watch, guards watch Fred off. Right. Good are, the idea. Guards, are the guards there to watch us, or are they going to stand over the, the body of uh, her brother right now? Well, tell me what you guys are doing. Okay. So well, we're all leaving because, you know, okay. yeah. we're just going to let the guards as watch us. As, <laughs> as we're walking by. Out of here. Yeah. As we're all walking by, Caps is going to say, you keep an eye out on uh, Fridolf, would you? He's he's like a British stone face. Just... Okay. Be sure to tell Evo if he wakes up now. <laughs> I'm sure as, as you're kind of leaving when you shut the door and make sure, you know, triple check that it's locked as you're looking at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how I, I would, uh, the door still, I wouldn't. The door's busted. We didn't fix it. No, it's not busted. It was no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it was busted. There was no it was just signs of forced entry. It was it was oh, just right. an open door with blood on the knob. Oh. Yeah. I lock it. There's guards. Leave it cracked open. All right, I got stuff. Okay. Yes, we've been here before. I remember this. Yes, yes. Oh, but I did take my jacket. <laughs> kind of wiped it off a little. Yeah, I took my jacket. So right, it's all imposingly naked right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's horses. I'm like, is it raining? So, uh, the, the father's going to be the sea legs tavern. Okay, we're all good grieving fathers, go. It's, it's, it's one of them. I mean, you know that it's. Can you see this on the map? Yeah. So that's gonna okay. Be his house. Uh. Okay. So we just walk over to his, uh, his house, right? Swordplay? That's it. Heard, sound like swordplay, and then I heard a Stevie Nicks singing. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Fleetwood Mac did a brief, uh, you know. Stand back, stand back. <laughs> <laughs> As they walked through town. Maybe with a yeah. Is it getting windy? All right. No, it's not windy, baby. It's just the trucks are driving by, and I already have a window open. I don't even. Oh. Know. It's just getting a little okay. later, so you know the mosquitoes and stuff. Will okay. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Look here, you guys. I'm going down to where Brian's at. Goddamn skaters. Oh, she's gonna walk the dog. So we're gonna go to the uh, to his house, right? Goddamn skeeters! Yeah. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Can I pick 
have a time with allergies right now. Mm. I think too funny already. Mm. <laughs> Now also, it's like, clink, 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 clink. Hey, Joe. Yes. I think your camera might just go on. Well, right, 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 right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've never been to God. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> I just talked loud enough, y'all can hear me. I can hear you. Hey. Okay, is it on? Oh, and I am going to. All right. Let's get it done. Right on, brother. All right. Let's so Aaron said he was not coming, huh? Good. Aaron said he was not coming. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know. That guy's always so cryptic, you know. I know. It, it, fuck it. It's all right. He get comes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about it if he, if he pops no. on. Great. No, no, no. Yes, I agree. Okay. So we we go to. Oh, where's Nick? Oh my God! <laughs> the mystery is is expanding. Where's? <laughs> Right, so Ludwig, Ludwig, he is the uh, wine merchant here. Right. He is a grieving father. Right. Um, he has uh, done some investigation on his own. Um, he doesn't exactly he tracked down the supposed lover um, he doesn't remember his name but between essentially between talking to <clears throat> her friends and the supposed lover they never yeah. saw her um, this is what Ludwig found out on his own okay um, he mentions that Ebo did come by his house and let him know was, that he discovered the same thing. Yeah, I was going to ask that question too. So he he essentially believes that you know she has disappeared at this point. That's that's when his alarm truly went up through the roof. Is because when he got when he got validation from the city watch that she never did meet. Um, the lover. The lover of her friends. The friends. That's you know she is essentially missing. Um, his daughter's name is Luella. 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 It's been three nights ago that she disappeared. He tells you that uh, um, from the invest from talking to her friends, the friends told her that she was supposedly she told her Luella told her friends that she was meeting her secret lover out by the lighthouse. Uh, he said that when the lover was talked to uh, he said he was out there and he waited for her for hours 
and then return to her friends, and neither them has seen her. So, he is All right. willing. So her lover returned. Oh yeah, he returned. He waited for uh, her out by so the he's way. He's not. They, they don't know who he is, baby. No one knows. No, but I thought he was also missing with her. Mm -mm. So he's not missing. He came back without her. Correct. Oh, it takes pity off the hook. Because basically, this guy would he 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 waited out by the lat house for her for hours. Finally, went back to the friend's house. <laughs> My friends all said she just left here to meet you. Well, she never showed up. And so we're out to the White House now. Essentially, according to the father, and Evo, and Evo told the father because their stories. I mean, everything cooperated. And um, according to their in-depth investigation, that uh, the friends and that lover has been cleared. Okay. Well, let's just try try to reassure the old man that uh, you know we're gonna do our best to find her. Absolutely. He's he also offers that if you find her and bring her back to me, I'll give you guys two thousand gold pieces. It's always well, about money, it. man. Come on. It's always about money. I'm safe. This will happen, sir. <laughs> do you have any enemies that might have taken her? I have no enemies whatsoever. I have a a business. Does your business have any enemies? Do you have any competitors? No. What kind of business do you have other than the wine? Just the wine? That's it. Just the wine. I'm a wine merchant. That's all I have. If you like to look at my okay. wares, I mean, I'm open. I always sell very well to the Sea Tavern here. I sell well to um, merchants coming into shore. I have no enemies. Everything is fine. Hey, Joe, my screen is white. Is there a reason? Did you change the screen out? Did I what? It changed the screen. Mine out. I don't have the map anymore for some reason. You went to heaven. I'm in heaven. <laughs> um, hit okay. the reload, maybe? I'll reconnect. 